Hey, my name is Scotty, and I'm putting away my black pen or brush pen today, and I'm going to be using all these other materials. So I'm going to start off with my blue Prismacolor pencil, sketch an outline. I'm going to be looking at the main shapes here. The reason I want to try something new today is because I've been feeling a bit stuck in what I've been doing, and need some need to find something else to move to the next level. Okay, so my next idea is to get these water brush pens. So I'm going to get a bit of my blue here. These are Holborn watercolors and I've had these for ages but I often don't bring them out. So I'm going to create a background around my sketch and I can sort of see the silhouette of my figure and then when this when this dries I can go over it with my ink. just wanted to create a really free expressive sketch that has um, more of a finished feel to it. A lot of my sketches obviously being sketches just don't feel finished and I want to have that um, that that style added to my my work. If you guys are fi trying to find that um, as well, like this find your style, find the best way you can work, let me know how you're going and like how you how you work that out. I think that looks nice. So I added a bit of darker blue at the bottom so it can blend down. Okay, and I'll block in some of the other colors here that I like. It's part of her sleeve. And there's a bit of color down here. It's definitely full experimental mode. Yeah, so how do you guys develop your art style? What sort of things do you do? My journey, I've, I started with pencils um, and charcoal pencils, and I really loved how expressive they were, and that's, that's what I wanted to do. That's what made, made me feel good as I was sketching. But then I, I kind of felt like I needed to move on and I started doing those black ink sketches. So that's why I've got lots of black ink, probably inspired by looking at things like Kim Jong-gi and other people that just seem to enjoy their process of sketching. Um, and it looks so bold. But I feel like as I'm sketching, there's something else that I want to um, do when I'm sketching. I want to feel, I want to have that finished result. What's worked for me when I'm when I'm getting stuck, when I'm trying to find, develop my style a bit more, is obviously looking at other artists and they open up like kind of windows to what's possible, what you can do. Okay, so instead of using black to do all the outlines, I'm going to use my uh, steel blue color. It's a Pentel color brush pen. So looking at the reference, I tend to draw the eyes a little bit smaller than perhaps I think they are when I first look at it. It comes down, the, the nostril comes down a bit and across. I'm actually going to make the hair blue as well this bit because it's mixed. I'm going to mix up all the media colours. So normally if I'm doing this without the block colours, I'm trying to outline the shapes first so I can see where they are, but because of the colors are there already, it's a lot easier. So I actually uh, was inspired to do this technique by um, an artist on Instagram called Jenny Adam, and I saw her course on uh, Domestica, and I was so interested, even though she does, um, she does urban sketching, you know, I think her way of thinking and her style is really, really cool and it inspired me because I thought, oh, you know, it just shows you what's possible. This, you, know, you don't have to follow what everyone else is doing. So if you're, if you're trying to find something, you don't feel like things are quite right, you don't feel like you like the way your process is working, definitely um, if you're looking at other artists, and so like I've never thought of sketching in this way until I saw her work, and then I adapt, I'm trying to adapt it to what I'm doing. And I do love urban sketching. I, w I would love to get into it. And I have spent a lot of time practicing figures, but maybe one day I could combine them or drawing the surroundings and then adding the figures in when I get back home. Have any of you guys tried urban sketching? Let me know. Okay, so now I'm looking, where are the other shadows? Make these lines, so I'll hold my pen a bit looser. This hand, I'm trying to make things very gestural. 
I'm trying to focus more on silhouette. Okay, it was really helpful to have the background wash and the hair and some other features before I did the inking on top. That was really nice. Okay, to stick with the mostly blue theme, I'll go into the face. I've got this prism color light blue pencil. Okay, so I also want to try adding a bit of these acrylic markers. You know what I could do with the red patch there, I can actually go over with this. I'm feeling slightly nervous that uh, some of this experimentation will wreck what I've already done. Uh, I think that's part of what I have to do to move forward is risk wrecking your work, wrecking my work. And now, this is like a teal, the, the coffee cup and stuff down here. Okay, with the hair, I've got this Posca pen, and I was thinking I could use it to do some of the whispers hair because it's, now it's dry, and that can combine into that ink wash I did before. interesting. Uh, we do have this big white. Okay. Now in the background I want to add a bit of detail because it's quite a block. These are like window frames behind. I'm making this up. <laughs> I'm making it up because it's too complicated. Okay, I love drum straight lines. Holding my pen quite far back. Just adding some definition to these your shadows behind here. Okay, the only material I haven't tried are these over here. Perhaps this green. Let's see, this, this reminds me of my industrial design days using my chalk, scraping them on. Yeah, I think that adds a nice texture without being too different to the whole piece. Uh, now, I did think of an idea as I was sketching Got the white and on these glass panels I thought what if I try to add a bit of reflection. So there you go I love it I really like the feel of it. I like the interesting just using one color and then adding in the highlight. It was a lot of experimentation so let me know if you like this kind of thing. So if you're in this stage two where you're trying to find your own art style, I really encourage you to look at other people's work, um, open that window to trying something new, um, get out all your art supplies and types of paper and try new things which can help. We can go on this journey together. I don't know where this is going to lead, but I hope somewhere good. If you want to see the full version of this, join me on Patreon because I'm putting it on there the real time. And if you want to uh, be able to draw these kind of scenes with people in the scene in 3D, my last video here, I did a review on a Domestica course, uh, which is so helpful with that. Um, so go check that out. And otherwise, I'll see you in the next one.